Yo ho, yo ho, the pirate's life for me. Welcome to Man Cave Media. Today we are checking out a watch. Uh, I know this doesn't happen very often on my channel. Uh, I have done watch reviews in the past, but it's not something that I normally do. Um, I don't buy watches frequently. I'm I'm one of those people that uh, I like to buy watches to mark occasions and you know special occasions, I should say. So I don't really buy a lot of watches. I have a lot of watches. I've accumulated them over my lifetime, um, but. It's not something that I do regularly, so I don't normally review watches on my channel, but I got an early Christmas gift here, and it's so cool, I cannot help but share it with you all. Uh, so what I have in this box here is a Spinnaker uh, Picard. It is a dive watch, and this one is a Corsair Limited Edition, and it is in the blue colorway. Uh, they made two different colorways, 170 pieces of each, and it's a really cool watch. It is a... Uh, it's pirate themed, <laughs> uh, which is perfect because this year my family and I are going on a vacation to the Caribbean. So perfectly themed watch for that trip. And uh, like I said, it's a very cool watch and I I'm, I'm excited to share it with you all. So that being said, let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Check it out. And then I will go over specs and pricing. So glad it wasn't my money spent. It's expensive, but it is a cool watch. All right, so we have a Spinnaker box. This is my first Spinnaker watch, by the way. Uh, I'm, I am familiar with the brand, but I have not owned a watch by them before. I've uh, been on the fence uh, uh, with the Picard, especially, for a while. And I was also on the fence with the recent release of the uh, 50 Phantoms uh, Halloween-themed watch. Uh, but usually, like the watches that they release that I like, they're, they're, they tend to be on the small side. I have big wrists. I like larger watches. And so I really liked the idea of the Picard uh, because it is a substantial watch, as you're going to see in a moment. But uh, the box itself is pirate themed. You got a nice, uh, you got a nice uh, pirate silhouette here. It says Spinnaker with the sword. On the front flap of the box, it says Corsair. Uh, so they include a UV light because there are a lot of features on the face of the watch that glow. So that's really nice of them. This is in here snug. The watch comes in its own pirate box. Which is awesome. So again, pirate themed uh, chest. It's got spinnaker on the top here and then a pirate. Pretty cool. The front of the box has a lock on it. And it's got like these uh, faux leather straps. They might even be real. Yeah, they might even be real leather. Um, going around the side of the box. Oh my goodness. There is the watch itself. I'm going to apologize in advance. Those of you who are not familiar with the Picard. It has a really thick domed crystal. And so it's gonna be hard for my camera to pick up the detail on this guy because it wants to distort. But anyhow, more on that in a moment. So straight ahead, we have the Picard Automatic Corsair Limited Edition Instruction Manual. We have uh, number 85 of 170, nice. See down there, 85 of 170. And this is an, another card with a Spinnaker logo on it. And this is the warranty card. It comes with an extra band that appears to be leather. Yep, it is a leather band. No, it's, mm, no, I'm sorry. Is it rubber? I'm not sure. I'll check it when I go into the uh, specs of the watch. I'm not sure if it's synthetic or if it's actual leather. 
Uh, but the buckle on the band has a little skull on it, which is a nice touch. And then it's got the pirate logo here. I hope this is big enough to fit my wrist because uh, I would like to use this strap instead of the metal one that came with it. Um, it also comes with a tool to remove the straps. Let's go. And then the watch itself, the star of the show. Oh man, this thing is so cool. I'm gonna have to get a lot of close-ups of this. Hold on, let's see if I can get it in focus here. I could already tell you right now, my uh, my overhead camera is not gonna catch the detail on this guy. So on the dial, there is the same uh, uh, pirate skull that's here on the on the outside of the box, and the second hand, which already started ticking, is uh, the sword. Super cool, man. The face itself is blue, and then it's got this uh, flat blue, matte blue uh, around the ring here. Um, it is a lefty. It's got the crown on the left-hand side. So that is also good for people like me with big wrists, because uh, um, even when I wear the watch back high on my wrist, um, my hand still tends to hit the crown. So, uh, so I like that it's a lefty. It comes with a metal band. And oh, there's a design on the back of it here. Hold on a second. Let's get this out of the way. There's a uh, QR code on the back of the watch. It's probably going to take me to warranty info. And then, yeah, on the back side of the watch, it's got a pirate head. I'm going to have to get a lot of close ups of this with my other camera. My overhead camera is not going to get this. It's not doing it justice. This thing is awesome. Let's go ahead and get into the specs really quick. That concludes the unboxing portion of the video. Thank you for playing. So uh, don't worry, plenty of close-ups to come of this, uh, this beautiful watch here. Very nice. Let's see if I can get it. Come on, focus. She's a beaut. Uh, I'll get uh, I'll get plenty of close-ups with my other camera so you guys can see it front and center. Uh, but going into the specs, it is a Seiko NH35 automatic movement. It is a stainless steel construction. Uh, the case size is 45 millimeters, so it is a it is a larger size watch, which is perfect for me. I love it. Uh, case thickness is 21 millimeters, and that's because of that domed crystal. You can see how uh, dramatic that is. It's pretty cool. It's like a, it's a throwback to the old school divers uh, with that large dome on the top there. It's pretty cool. Um, I chose the blue one. They made a black one and a blue one. Um, so my dial color is blue. Uh, applied index with Swiss Super Luminova. So I will put a battery in this uh, black light and get some close-ups of the loom shortly. Uh, sapphire lens, it has a screw down crown, a 22 millimeter stainless steel fold over buckle. And I think it does have, cause it's a Picard, it has the dive extension, I believe. At least it should have the dive extension. Yes, it does. It's on the inside there. Uh, it's got a bunch of plastic and stuff on it, so I don't wanna open it yet. I'll take all that stuff off and then open it up so you can see what that looks like. Um, it also, oh, it is leather. It is leather. I was confused if this was leather or, or synthetic material, but, and uh, like I said, I hope this is big enough to fit my wrist. We're going to find out in a moment because I am going to put it on because uh, I'd much rather use that strap than the metal one. Uh, I'm not a fan of uh, metal bands. I like, I like leather. It feels better on the skin. Uh, lug to lug is 52 millimeters. And it does have a helium release valve. It is a proper dive watch. It will be wasted on me. Uh, it has 50 meters of water resistance and 41 plus hours of power reserve. And it does have a date display. So really quick, I'm going to um, try to swap out the band. 
Um, it's got the quick release bands, so I'm gonna swap it out really quick and see if the leather one is large enough for my wrist. Because I really wanna wear the leather one. Goodness gracious. There we go. Man, that side did not wanna come out. It's getting a little worried there. Does look pretty big. I think I'm gonna be all right. All right. Let's get this party started. Oh yeah. Plenty big enough. Oh yeah. I could gain some weight. <laughs> Nobody wants that. <laughs> It is a proper leather strap. It needs to be broken. It's nice and stiff, giggity. Oh man, that is so nice. So nice. I like it a lot. It's quickly becoming my new favorite thing. The longer I have it on my wrist. Oh, I like it. The leather buckle feels really nice. And uh, yeah, if you're a person with smaller wrists, um, you might want to avoid this guy because uh, it's a big girl, big boy, big girl, whatever. It's a big watch. So let me grab a battery for this UV pen here. Includes a strap, that's pretty cool. That looks like a double A. I wonder if they included that in the instructions. Hold on a second. I didn't look to see that. No. <laughs> no. All right. Fair enough. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a double A. Be right back. All right, to save myself the walk, <laughs> I brought out a variety of batteries because uh. It looks to me like it's AAA, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, it's AAA. Whoops. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. If only you could see what I'm seeing. Oh wait, <laughs> hold on. Oh, this band really needs to be broken in. <laughs> All right. Oh man, look at that detail. That is so cool. That is so cool. So you, you only need the UV light over it for a little bit and then it'll glow on its own. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, I dig this thing so much. It's a good time to segue into some B-roll.
so my final thoughts on the Spinnaker Picard Corsair Special Edition. Uh, it is a very nice watch. It is a very capable dive watch that I'll never use to its full potential. <laughs> um, my personal opinion, I love the watch. Uh, I like big watches. I have big wrists. And so this is right up my alley. I love the color. I love the design. I love the detail. Um, it is a bit on the pricier side. Um, thankfully, this was this was a gift. This wasn't my money spent. Um, I don't know if I could bring myself to spend this kind of money on a watch. Uh, the normal Picard, I think, goes for five hundred dollars. Uh, this special limited edition right now is on their website for seven hundred and ninety dollars, which is a, a bit rich for my blood when it comes to watches. Um, this has very easily assumed the position on the top of the list of most expensive watches I own. Um, because, yeah, this is not something that I would normally do <laughs> uh, um, with my own money. But anyways, uh, I'm super thankful to have received this as a gift. I'm, I love this watch. I will wear it a ton. It's super nice. Um, would I recommend it? it? You know, absolutely. If that's something that is in your price range for a lot of watch collectors. Seven hundred ninety dollars is on the low side. Uh, watches, you know, they creep up in price really fast, and there's a lot of really expensive stuff out there, especially in the dive uh, watch category. So, seven hundred ninety, I know, isn't that much for most watch collectors. So, if you like the styling of the Picard, and maybe you are on the fence, but you didn't quite like how plain it was, or you didn't like the skeleton dial options, and you're into pirates, like I'm into pirates. Um, this might be the watch for you. This might tip you over the edge if you were on the fence on the Picard. But yeah, I really dig this watch. Very happy that I have it. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that algorithm. I hope you have a great evening. And like always, thank you for watching.